Hello and welcome to my Monster DIY Tensahedron Stand video part three. As a quick reminder, in the first video, I really focus on how the stand was constructed. And then in the second video, I really focused on the suspension and also how to attach the tarp. And then on this third video, I wanted to focus on um, maybe adding bolts uh, onto the stand and painting it and making a carrying bag. So, uh, carrying bag. Went to Joanne Fabrics, used my 40% off coupon, used two yards of fabric, doubled it up, uh, had some old cordage uh, webbing, so that seems to hold the 30 pounds fine. I'm finding though, if when it gets dragged around a little, that one bottom end uh, has already got a little hole in it, so I might need to do extra reinforcement on the patch job. Uh, we'll see as it goes if, if this is going to be durable enough material. So far, so good. So, uh, starting off, because these are galvanized steel, need to degrease them. So I used Ajax, had it on hand. Um, pretty easy to, um, I don't know, I guess degrease them. And then I followed it up with vinegar and chose not to sand them. Uh, went straight for the spray paint used these they were on sale thanks Myers and since I wanted to do a graduation in color I used four different colors and I was so eager to get going that it has been such a humid summer in Wisconsin that I really didn't do a good job of letting the paint dry and so there's lots of missed spots and fingerprints and I I wish I would have been more patient I did have these stickers though this was an excellent idea so I can still keep them labeled as they were labeled from the get from the beginning you can see just how big that bag is because it's five feet three inches long uh, in my camping trip last weekend so here's the stand set up uh, my first couple nights in it um, I've still got tweaking to do <laughs> um, I tacoed not fully though so here's some video and I'll explain exactly uh, what ha what happened here so I, I set up actually between two trees because I wanted to set the tarp up. Uh, I didn't want to focus on the tarp at all, just the stand. So the color here, um, I was excited about except for where the two pieces merge. And you can see there's a huge division of color. So I'm going to go back and tweak that so there's more of a graduation of color. I think most people watching want to hear more about being tacoed and the suspension than about the color, but the painting really is a big focus of this video. So when I set this up, I set, um, I set it up about six feet at the base and on the whoopee sling suspension about equidistant on the head end and the foot end. Now I tethered up high. I don't know why I did this, but actually it worked out well because I didn't fully tackle. Like when I slipped down, you know, when you slip down normally in your hammock you've got your feet and raised so you don't slip down well my feet and you know it's the same equidistant i didn't my feet and aren't raised the the straps aren't raised so i scooted down as normal and i just kind of slid and it tipped a little and where i had the anchor point it caught me so i didn't actually fully taco and this happened even when i tweaked it for the second night so i need to go back there's going to be a fourth video um, cause I need, I want to feel really comfortable when I'm sleeping. I did sleep really well. I, I do a banana lay and I felt like I had to do more of a diagonal lay. Um, it looked really cool and it was really fun to be portable, but I, I've got more work to do. So the more work here is back home, um, fixing up the color since I really wanted those two pieces not not to look like there is a solid line. Isn't that a great shot with such a blue sky? I think that's just so pretty. So here I went back and pulled out the colors. I will say that four cans of spray paint, I have just a little bit left, um, was enough to do multiple coats on this. Um, and I'm still, I, I'm not sure I'm going to actually do bolts. I said Kind of from the beginning, I was maybe I'm putting a bolt to actually solidify those two sections together. I'm leaning towards no bolts now. And you can see I haven't done the additional whoopee slings or switched out from this black webbing. 
I might do the teal, um, the turquoise, which is what I still think I want to eventually, um, but we'll, we'll actually see. Um, took advantage of these non-humid days to be able to finish this up, and I decided since everything gets really banged up in my carrying bag to add a clear top coat. So I'm going to do several coats of this until I use this can completely up. Had to redo the the lettering. <laughs> I, I do like this. Um, it, it made it really easy and fast to be able to put it together to know exactly which pieces meld together easily. So I'm still a maybe on on the bolts. I'm actually leaning towards no. I still want to be able to um, put my zing it, my blue Samson zing it, the blue, uh, since everything is like this teal turquoise for me. I'll probably use um, the blue zing it for the tie outs and I will add an anchor on the head end since that's what the new Tensa 4 is doing as well. And I'll probably still make that big whoopee for the base. But it's been nice to have the extra webbing as one person to just kind of get it set up how exactly how I want it. So there will be some more tweaking involved and I will definitely do another video to let you know on the suspension, how everything comes together. But the, the painting now I feel is pretty much done. And as long as I was patient, then it could have gone a little easier. And I highly recommend for other people to be able to paint theirs because, I don't know, it's just kind of fun and it's really pretty. So thanks for those who have tuned in for uh, all three videos and stay tuned for video four.